As we recently have crowned our new king, I would love to see King Charles in a trackie. I think he'd wear it well. And in fact, you know, the relationship he's had with the Spice Girls over the years, I really think he should. Hey Style, I'm Melanie C. Could this be why I'm known as Sporty Spice? The name Sporty Spice was given to me way back in 1996 by Peter Lorraine, who was editor of Smash Hits. He nicknamed all of the Spice Girls. And it was mostly on our appearance or our personality or our hair colour or our age. <laughs> but mine was very much about what I wore. I grew up as a kid in the Northwest. The uniform out there when we were all playing out in the park was trackies, was sportswear. I went off to Performing Arts College. I continued to wear trackies through my career as a dancer, my very short-lived career as a dancer. I've always loved sport. I've always been athletic. I then get into raving in the early 90s and we didn't really get dressed up to go out then, so it was trackies again. We would get to shoot sometimes and the girls would have these incredible rails of clothes and I'd just have like a few trackies on the side. So sometimes I'd feel a little bit left out because when I went off and I did my first solo record, Northern Star, in 1999, I wanted to be seen as an individual and I think I kind of rebelled against being sporty a little bit. So I had all of these like fashion disasters, probably, definitely with my hair and with my clothes. And being back on stage with the girls, I just had this moment of going, wow, you know, she never really left me. I feel so comfortable being sporty, being in sportswear. I embrace it now more than ever. Back in the 90s, there was, you know, people weren't that accepting of sportswear. It wasn't, it wasn't as expensive as it can be now. And it was seen as leisure wear or, you know, work wear or scruffy. And I remember only once I was turned away from a restaurant. I think it was in Singapore because I had trainers on. Um, and it makes me laugh now because a lot of trainers are actually more expensive than shoes. But um, it wasn't the look. It wasn't the done thing back then. But um, I kind of got away with looking very relaxed in most places. I have loved working a lot closer with the LGBTQ plus community in the last few years. Something that of course started with the Spice Girls. We have an incredible following in the community. But I think working very closely, especially with drag queens and non-binary people, it has really given me this confidence to, to never be ashamed of, of who I am. You know, that's, that's kind of the message, isn't it? who you are, whatever that is. And being a Spice Girl, it's something we always promoted, but I don't know whether I always felt confident enough to really own it. And working with Sync the Pink and the, you know, the beautiful dancers and performers there has really enabled me to really embrace it fully. When I first started to wear them, the, the women-specific trackies were minging. I always wore men's, but you know, as, as time's gone on, I, I do believe that, you know, that sports world has become kind of gender neutral in, in many ways. And I suppose that makes me feel comfortable because there's, you know, there's, there's a, an expression that's used and, you know, sometimes I've been called that over the years, like a tomboy. You know, I, I've never felt like a very feminine girl. So to me, a tracksuit has just always felt, you know, it's always felt comfortable because it's, it's just allowed me to express myself physically in whatever way I've wanted to at the time. At my last count, 15 tattoos, I think. Some of them are very, very small, including my new ones. I have a scarlet star, which is for my daughter, and then I, I had to get a little smiley face, which she actually drew on me, and then I had it tattooed on. Um, but my very first was a Celtic armband, it was very much the thing at the time. We just went into a tattoo shop on Sunset Boulevard in LA, picked a tattoo and had it done. I mean, I would never do that now, uh, but no regrets. I think most of the Spice Girls, if they weren't tattooed on that night, they have been since. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to the Sunday Time Style YouTube channel. <laughs> Nearly. One word, okay. <laughs>